What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're discussing the options for how many steps to use when processing manufacturing orders or MOs. Odoo's manufacturing app allows us to process MOs using one, two, or three steps. In one step manufacturing, we only need to worry about the MO itself. When using two steps, we need to pick the components and transfer them to the production location before processing the MO. Finally, for three step manufacturing, this requires one additional step, which is transferring the finished product into storage. Of course, all of these steps happen in real life for every MO. The only difference is whether or not Odoo tracks the transfer of components and or finished products. So let's jump into our database to see how this all works. All right, when an Odoo database is first created, one-step manufacturing is enabled by default. So let's start by looking at the one-step workflow. From the manufacturing dashboard, all we have to do is create a new MO by navigating to operations at the top and then selecting manufacturing orders. And then we're gonna click new in the upper left-hand corner. We cover all the basic steps of creating and processing manufacturing orders in our manufacturing orders and work order basics video. So be sure to check that out if you need a refresher. For this video, however, this only covers the details essential for this workflow. So first we need to pick a product that we wanna manufacture. And for this tutorial, we'll be producing one unit of our lamp product. So in the product field, I'm just gonna select our lamp. We're also gonna leave the quantity field here set to one and go ahead and click confirm to confirm the MO. In the chatter, if we scroll down, we can see the readiness of the MO is set to ready. This is because we have all the required components in stock. This is one of the key differences between manufacturing step options. In one step manufacturing, confirmed MOs are set to ready when we have enough components to complete them. When using two or three step manufacturing, there are a few extra steps required before the MO is ready, even if all the required components are available. We'll see this later in action, later in the video. Okay. Since this MO is already ready, let's go ahead and process it now by clicking Produce All in the upper left-hand corner. And there you have it. We've processed an MO using one-step manufacturing. Now, even though we never processed a transfer of components or finished product, Odoo has automatically registered the number of components consumed and the product that we manufactured. I can confirm all this information by clicking on the Product Moves Smart button at the top. And this is where I can see all of the inventory movements for this specific MO. This makes one-step manufacturing ideal for small-scale manufacturing operations. Companies that don't need to worry about an excessive amount of components or products might not need to worry too much about tracking those type of transfers. However, for many other companies, tracking this operation is absolutely critical to ensuring that inventory counts remain accurate. In such case, two or three step manufacturing would be the best options to use when processing MOs. To enable either of them, I need to head over to the inventory application. And from the inventory application, we'll just hit configure at the top here and then click on settings. Here, if we scroll down to the warehouse section, we can make sure that the multi-step routes operations are enabled. This will allow us to use multiple steps for a variety of operations, including MOs. Now, if we head to configuration and then warehouses and click into our main warehouse here, in the manufacturing field, I can select the number of steps needed for manufacturing. Since this is set on a warehouse level, it allows companies with multiple warehouses to use different settings for each warehouse. In this case, I'm gonna select pick components, manufacture, then store products or the three-step process. Don't worry, the three-step workflow includes the two-step workflow within it. So we'll be able to see both at once. Let's take a look at them now by heading back to the manufacturing application. And we're gonna create another MO for our LAMP product. So once again, we're gonna select operations, manufacturing orders, select new in the upper left-hand corner, add our LAMP to the product field and simply click confirm. The first thing I wanna point out is the MO readiness. If we scroll back down, it's no longer ready. It now says waiting another operation. This is because we need to process the transfer of components to our production location. We can open that transfer simply by clicking on the transfer smart button at the top of the page. Once these components have been transferred, all we have to do is click validate to confirm the transfer. Then once that's completed, I'll go back to the manufacturing MO by clicking the manufacturing smart button at the top. And if we scroll back down, the readiness of this MO now appears as ready since we have all the components we need. Now, once the lamp has been assembled, I'll process the MO once again by clicking produce all. 
If we were to use two-step manufacturing, the workflow would now be complete, and the on-hand count of lamps would automatically be updated based on the number we produced. However, there's one more step required to complete the three-step manufacturing workflow, processing the transfer of the finished product to our inventory. So I'll open that now by clicking on transfers once again. And now we have a second transfer that appears on this page. So if we click onto that transfer, then click validate to confirm that the product has been sent to the inventory. And just like that, we've completed the three-step manufacturing process. And that brings us yet to the conclusion of another amazing tutorial. You now know how to process an MO using one, two, and three-step manufacturing. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and I'll see you in the next video.